Hi everyone and welcome to another eStore video demonstration. My name is Anthony and the product we're demonstrating today is this iSuper Mini RC Helicopter. Basically this is an RC helicopter that's controlled via your iPhone or iPad. So what I'm going to do for you today is take this product outside of the box and give you a live working demo of this in action. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so this is the product outside of the box. It's quite small. If I uh, run my hand behind it, you'll be able to see it's basically the size of my hand. Uh, so just running around the unit, we've got a prop on the top there, another prop at the bottom. Uh, to the back, we have another propeller to stabilize it. Uh, moving up closer, we have our input there to charge the unit. And if I turn the unit around on the opposite side, there's a little switch under there to turn the unit on and off. Now, if I turn the unit on, you notice that it's got some flashing lights to make it look really cool. Uh, so now what we'll do is we'll go through the box contents. Okay, so the box contents is fairly simple. We have our helicopter, we have our USB uh, charging wire, we also have an instruction manual to help get you started, and we also have a spare propeller for the back uh, just in case you uh, fly it into a wall and it comes off. Okay, so in order to control this unit, you need to download an uh, iPhone app, so which is this one here, which is iSuper Helicopter. But first, what you need to do is turn on your helicopter, go to your settings. Uh, what we do here is then we go to our general, uh, then Bluetooth. You'll see the iSuper Helicopter pop up. Just make sure that you click on that, and then it'll automatically connect. And then once you've done that, what will happen is it'll pop up and tell you to download the iPhone app. So you can do that or you can do it before, either way it doesn't matter. Uh, and then once you've done that, click the app and the app will come up and here are your controls to use it. So uh, this is our uh, elevation, so going up and down. Uh, this here is your pitch and all. And at the bottom here, this just stops the uh, helicopter from spinning. Now up the top here, we've got a few other different icons. So that little music icon, you can actually play MP3s in the background. The record button is to record a flight path. So you can actually record a, a flight path while you're flying. Uh, then we've just got the trash, so you can trash that flight path, play that flight path. Uh, and this little button here, can't actually work out what it does, so I couldn't find anything in the manual about it. And then you've just got stop there. So that's the uh, app as a whole. Now, if you want to get really funky, it's also got a gyro inside the helicopter. So if you want to, you can actually use a gyro on your iPhone. Uh, and what you can do is you can fly it by the uh, pitch and all of the iPhone itself. So it's quite cool. So what I'm going to do for you now is take this product outside into our warehouse and uh, fly it around and give you a quick demo. So this product is a lot of fun and the fact that you control it with your iPhone or your iPad just makes it so much cooler. Now it's also got a metal uh, frame as well which makes it nice and sturdy so if you knock it against a wall or hit the roof it's not going to damage the product too much. Now this unit you charge for about an hour and a half and you get roughly anywhere between 8 to 10 minutes flying time. Now it also comes with a built-in gyroscope so you can control it via the accelerometer that's already built into your iPhone. So I hope you've enjoyed my product demonstration of the iSuper Mini RC Helicopter. My name's Anthony from eStore and I'll see you next time.